Hey, hi, hello everyone. I'm Naval Yamul and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Data Master. I am excited to introduce a brand new playlist, N8N Workflow Automation. N8N is a fantastic open source tool for workflow automation that allows you to easily build and manage AI agents, automate your business processes and integrate the tools without writing any code. This playlist is perfect for working professionals, freelancers, graduates and entrepreneurs, anyone who want to automate the repetitive task and build a intelligent workflows. In this series, I'll walk you through what N810 is, how to sign up for a free 14 days trial and how to host your N810 on your local machine how to build your first AI agent and in future videos, you will explore real world automation workflows using N810. Also a quick note, we at Data Master Consulting are a startup helping enterprises automate their operation using N810 workflows. If you're looking to automate anything in your business or team, feel free to reach out to us. We would love to help. So let's get started and let us see how to sign up for the 14 days free trial of N8N. And remember, N8N is an open source. Unlike the closed platform like Zapier's or Zapier's, giving you more flexibility and control. So let us sign up for the 14 days free trial and build a simple agent in this video. Just go for the n8n.io and it's flexible AI automation for all your technical teams. It can be for your IT ops or your security operations, development, sales, and so on. Okay, so there are so much of materials available on the NA10. So let us get started signing up for the free trial of 14 days. So it's asking you for a NA10 account name. So I would like to give my enterprise account, for example, data master dot app dot n8 n dot cloud and oh, let me do a, a free trial actually so let me click on free trial and my full name is i'll just write novel yaml let me give all these details yeah i filled all the details let me click on start for free 14 days trial so it's asking me a few of the questions so let me quickly mention it so what's your size of your company it's less than 20 I'll just click on OK. Uh, what team are you working on? So maybe an executive, an owner. You can mention whatever you want. Uh, what describes best for your company? It's a consulting company. And which of these do you feel comfortable doing? Uh, maybe I'll just say using a SQL query at a database. A quick note. How did you hear about us? So maybe YouTube. I'll just click on OK and are you creating this account for your customer for my agency or for personal you can click anything you want okay so i'll just skip this i don't want to invite any of my uh, teammates now and let us click on start automating so the moment you click on start automating you get a new ui let me quickly walk through to the ui and we'll get started now so you can see here at the top it's 14 days free trial and this is how your N8 and workflow looks like. You can upgrade this to a paid one. I'll explain you how to upgrade this to the pre one, uh, to the paid one. You can test a simple AI agent from here, or you can start it from the scratch. So you have different tabs here: workflows, credentials, and executions. So we haven't set any of the credentials yet, so you cannot see anything here and it's ask you for the execution also so we haven't executed any of our workflows so you don't see anything right now so i'll just go to workflow and i'll start it from the scratch i'll just click on this and it will take you to the new ui or it called as a canvas ui where you have three tabs here you can see the editor tab where you start building up your workflows and whatever the executions you have done it you can find it in the execution tabs and then you have a evaluation tabs so you can start adding the first step like you want to add a trigger as a first step like when you want to trigger it so to get started you can click on this first step 
you can see you have couple of options like what triggers this workflow or how do you want to get started with this workflow and oh you would say that okay i would run this workflow when i trigger it manually so you can just say trigger it manually just click on it and this is your first step if you want to go and switch it to the different triggers you can just delete this and you can just go and add a plus button from here or you can just click on this and you can say i want to trigger this workflow when i start chatting on it so i'll just click on on chat message so cool so when i once i click on it you get a ui that mentions you the details about that particular trigger for example when your chat messages are received then this workflow will get started you can test this you can set up a parameters if you have anything and you can do a settings from here now I'll just go to the canvas back to the canvas you can click on it or you can click anywhere outside this ui just click on it and you are back now okay so in this video we'll build a very simple ai agent and like once you start typing it or once you type start chatting on it so your agent will be invoked so i'll just click on this plus button or you can just go back and click on this plus button and now i'll call my ai agent okay ai agent yeah i'll call this ai agent now it's asking you to set up the parameters i'll just leave it for for a moment i'll just go back and this is your ai agent okay so you can just attach this node that is your trigger node to the ai agent just drag and drop it and it's done so whenever you are typing a message or whenever you are chatting it this workflow will invoke and we have bought an agent so agent is having a capability to think by using a llm model so we want to add a chat model here and we are going to, even we can add a memory to it and we can add a few tools to it so it can have an ability to go and search on the internet it has the ability to uh, read out your google calendar there are so many tools you can add it to this okay so that's the reason why n810 workflow automation tool is an amazing tool so i'll just click on this plus button here to add a llm to it it's like a brain to this ai agent now there are so many ai llm models you can attach to this you have open source and you have a closed source also you can add a open ai's gpt model or you can see grok is also available here google gemini model or even the anthropics chat model and so many models are there even deep seek so i have already created an account on the deep seek and open ai i can use any of this for now maybe let us take for a deep seek once you click on the deep seek i'll just go back and you can see you got a deep seek chat model attached to the ai agent it looks something like this now here you can see there is an error because we haven't set up any credentials to this so to get started with it you need to assign a credential to it so i'll just double click on it and you need to set up a credential we did not uh, do any credentials yet so let me go back and click on create a new credentials and then it's asking you for the api key and you get this api key from the deep seek api page so you have to go to the deep seek api and then get a key of that and you can just paste it here so i'll show you how to get a api key from the deep seek okay just go to the google and type deep seek api and you get this ui called platform.deepseek.com click on it and here i have just added five dollars to this and you can also add it you can top up by using a paypal or by using a debit card or a credit card you can add a minimum two dollars to it and for the training purpose five dollars ten dollars is uh, you can just add it and you can just go to the api key so i did not create any api key here now i'm going to create it just click on create a new api key and you can give a name hey, this is for my n and workflow testing you just click on create a api key and your api key is here so please copy this api key and i'll just jump to my n workflow automation tool where i am trying to add a credentials to it so i'll just add a credentials to it and just click on save and it's done wow you got a message called su connection su tested successfully so we have used that api key to connect our deep seek account to the n and workflow so you can just close it and you are almost done now i'll just uh, skip this part i don't want to save it to my google i'll just go back now you can see there is no error 
So now just now we added a AI agent and to that AI agent we added a model. We can add a memory, we can add a tool, a lot of things, but we will see as we progress further to the next videos. So before I begin testing it, I want to save this workflow. I'll just click on save and I even want to add a name to this workflow. So by default, the workflow name is my workflow. I would say that this is simple AI agent. Okay, simple AI agent and I'll click on save. Yeah, it's already saved. Now I can click on open the chat and once you click on it, so this workflow will trigger when I start typing it. So you can see I send a message below to trigger the chat workflow. So I'll simply say hi and you can see here uh, this was invoked or this was executed and from this you your AI agent got uh, triggered and from that AI agent it says that okay I have a model called a deep seek chat model. So now your deep seek chat model is responding responding to you saying that hey hi hello how can I assist you today. So in this way you can build a very simple agent. So this is just a beginning where I try to trigger it by using a chat message and your deep seek model is responding to you. You can add a action to it. You can add a tools to it. So you can just click on tools. You can see there are varieties of tools. You can add your uh, web browser to it. You can add SERP API web browser. That is your Google search as a tool. You can add your Gmail tools as a tools to your AI agent. And even you can add an action called a WhatsApp. Like if you want to uh, integrate your WhatsApp to this workflow, you want to get a message on your WhatsApp or a Telegram or your Gmail, even you can add them all in an action. We will see them in the later video. So this is the beginning of uh, NA10 workflows. I hope you understood it. And I have built a very simple agent invoking a chat message and then using a deep sea chat model here. So that's all for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. So if you want to automate anything, NA10 would be the best tool, an open source tool. Even you can host this NA10 on your local machine. So now I am I have created this. Uh, you can say a URL specialized for the datamaster.app.nadn workflow. This will be valid for only 14 days. But if you want to use it for absolutely free, even you can uh, host them in your local machine. And how to do that? I'll be explaining it in the later videos, next videos. So this playlist would be very interesting. I'll be come up with uh, real time examples. I'll show you how the uh, workflows are made and deployed it in real time. That's all for this video guys. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends. Bye-bye.